Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Today we are continuing on with a series of love magic through the month of February. So we are going to be making two different things. Um, we are going to be making a rose water perfume for self-love and then we're also going to be making um, a different oil blend that you can also use for self-love that doesn't use roses. I do need to say though in my last video and in the podcast episode I made a mistake. So I said that M.A. Phillips new book was coming out on February 4th when it is actually coming out on February 2nd. So just needed to make that correction and now we can go ahead and hop into the DIY. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cleanse my little bottles. For the oil, I have this dropper bottle. It's just a glass dropper bottle. Uh, it's very small. I don't know the measurement of it, but it is quite literally very small. So I have this one. Then for the spray, I have this very large glass amber bottle that I have cleaned out because I've used it for other things in the past. So we're gonna light our incense. You can use whatever incense you want that you associate with cleansing. I use dragon's blood because that's just what I use. And we're going to run our jar, our bottle, all the pieces through the incense smoke. Okay, outside and inside. So this jar is very small. So I'm just going to hold it up like this, very close to it, without putting it inside because it's so small. All right, so that's that one. And then repeat the process for the next bottle. If you're just making one of these, then obviously just do it for one. Okay, our jars are now cleansed. I'm gonna let the incense burn and we can go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the perfume. So I'm gonna put my dropper bottle away and I'm gonna start with the rose water perfume. Now, this might be a little different than what you all have at home. So there are options in the description for making your own rose water. If you're going to make your own rose water for this perfume, you need to put like witch hazel or alcohol in it. I'm using this rose water concentrate, which actually already has, let me see if I can get it to focus. It already has um, rose oil, alcohol, distilled water, and rose fragrances in it. So I don't need to use an emulsifier. I don't need to add witch hazel or alcohol. I'm just going to be using clean water. So I have a funnel because my hands aren't steady. And I'm just going to slowly pour in some clean water. And we wanna make sure, obviously, not to overfill it. And yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so this is now full of water. And I'm going to add in the concentrate. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this on Amazon if you want to use this particular rose water concentrate, but I think any rose water concentrate will be fine. I have roses and I thought about making my own rose water, but I didn't want to pick the petals off just to make rose water when the plant is still thriving and doing well. So I'm just going to add some rose water concentrate to this water. Since it's a concentrate, I did add several drops because it's not the 100% undiluted rose oil. You can make this particular perfume with rose oil if you want. Just again, don't add too many drops, maybe at most 5 or 10. Dilute it 
with the emulsifier like witch hazel or alcohol first before you add in the water. So when I do that, I use the essential oil, maybe 10 drops, and then I use a tablespoon or two tablespoons of witch hazel or rubbing alcohol, and then I add the water, and then you wanna shake it really well. All right, so we have this using the concentrate. I'm gonna give it a shake. All right, so that's the basics of the perfume. Now it hasn't been charged for self-love yet. I haven't done anything to it other than creating the basic perfume. So I'm gonna set this aside because I'm gonna charge both the perfume and the oil at the same time. Now for the oil, I actually don't have rose essential oil and I wanted to use different oils. So what I'm gonna use instead is lemongrass. and patchouli. So these two for me correspond with love, love and communication, both things that I want in a self-love oil for myself. So I don't have a funnel that fits this jar, so we get to watch as I try to pour my sesame oil into this jar. When you use essential oils to make an oil that you're going to use on your skin, you always, always, always want to dilute it with a carrier oil because essential oils can be very abrasive on the skin. Abrasive is not the right word, but they can be very harsh on the skin. So always dilute it with a carrier oil. And this could be um, if you don't have sesame oil, you can use olive oil, fractionated coconut oil if you want it to be a liquid. If you want it to be a solid, you can use regular coconut oil. It is solid um, under 73 degrees, I believe. So just use what you've got for carrier oils. I am using patchouli and lemongrass. If you have other oils that you associate with self-love, definitely use those oils instead. And then once we're done making the oil, we're gonna go ahead and charge both the oil and the perfume for the intent of self-love. So let's, let's see if I can get the oil into this jar without making a mess. Oh my goodness, I did it. Okay, so it isn't completely full. It's mostly full, but it isn't completely full. And now I'm going to add two or three drops of each oil. When you put it on your skin like this and it is concentrated and not diluted with something, um, you definitely don't want to use too much. So I'm going to try to get two or three drops of each oil that will come out. And all of the links for these will be in the description below. These essential oils, whoa, okay, there's two of lemongrass. These essential oils are leftover from when my mom was a distributor of Young Living. You don't need to use Young Living essential oils. You can use whatever essential oils you have at your disposal. I'm going to grab a towel and wipe this off and see if that helps. Okay, I think that's two drops. I'm not sure. Sometimes patience is the key to this. So I'm gonna put the lid on, and I didn't get any patchouli on my skin, but I got some on the outside of the jar, so I'm gonna wipe it off. And this is our oil. Now you can see the essential oils in it, so you do want to give it a shake. Get it in there together. And this oil is done as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and charge them. For charging things like these, 
I don't typically have anything else with me, no candles, no other herbs. I just use what I've already created. I do still have my incense burning, but I don't have anything else because charging objects, charging things that you've created comes from yourself, your own energy, okay? So what I'm gonna do is the same thing that I have done when I charge any other object. I'm going to hold it in my hand, gonna close my hands over it, and I am going to use my energy and push all of my energy into this oil and charge it with the intention of what I want. Now, when you do this, you can envision your energy in different colors. I will probably use pink because I associate pink with self-love and uh, any love that is not romantic or lustful in nature, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't normally say any magic words or spells. If you want to, you can. If you have one that um, will be helpful to you, if it helps you focus your energy and your intention, then go ahead and go for it. But I'm gonna go ahead and charge these up and then I'll show you how you can use them. So that's how you make your self-love oil and the self-love perfume. Now I'm just gonna show you how you can use it. And you can use them every day. You can use it when you just need a boost. So for the oil, uh, every time you use it, just give it a little bit of a shake. Then you're going to take some up in your dropper. And what I like to do is just use it as an oil perfume. Put a couple of drops on your wrist, rub your wrists together. You can even put some on your neck, like a little bit here, and a little bit here, and then rub it together. Since it's an oil, it's already diluted, so it should be skin safe. Please practice caution when using essential oils because everybody's skin is different and we don't want you to have an allergic reaction or anything like that because of the essential oil. So that's how you use the oil. When you use it, you can say an incantation or a spell, say a couple of words that really get you into that mindset of self-love. Um, you can, if you keep it for a long period of time, I would charge it maybe every month or so if you don't use it every day, just to make sure that it's still holding that intention and the energy that you want it to have. Same thing goes for the spray. Before you use the spray, just give it a bit of a shake and then just it on you and you don't have to be a female presenting person to use these objects everybody can benefit from using essential oils in this manner you don't have to shy away from it because it smells like roses use a different oil use a different scent what matters is that it connects you with your idea of self-love so you want it to be something that you associate with love for yourself and friendships, communication, whatever it is that you want it to be. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this tutorial. All of the ingredients and everything that I used will be in the description. I will include links for the oils that I have. Um, as well as basic instructions for how to do them. I might eventually create them as printables for my website, so keep an eye out on that too. And I will see you next time. A big shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support and your continued inspiration. If you'd like to join me over on Patreon, you can do so and get patron exclusive perks and content for as little as a dollar a month. You can do that at patreon.com slash roundthecauldron.